coming. Um, my name is Heather. I'm one of the personal trainers at the Mental Fitness Center, and today we're continuing our series of what's what on low back care. Okay, so low back pain is something that's very common. Um, it's very common throughout this country. Uh, that the pain usually starts from about mid back to lower back, concentrated within there. Um, so this is an extremely common condition uh, that happens for most folks. It's usually caused through poor posture, um, lack of exercise, improper lifting movements, arthritis, um, and disc issues. Can be some well, in my case, it's, it's physiologic. I mean, I have a stenosis. Gotcha, and or stenosis. Yep, absolutely. Um, but the good thing is that, but that back pain can be prevented and or helped treated through an exercise plan or a treatment plan. Okay, so today I'm going to show you different exercises that we can do. I'm going to show you three exercises to help strengthen the muscles in your low back, three ex exercises that's going to help strengthen your core in connection to stabilizing the low back, and then three stretch exercises that's going to help with flexibility. Okay, so if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, I have these handouts you can refer to at any point. They have the pictures of the exercises that we're going to be doing. So the first exercise we're going to be doing is the upper dog. So I'm going to just demonstrate here on this table. Okay. So the upper dog, we're going to lay down on our belly here. Okay. Arms are by your chest. Your neck is looking down at the ground. Okay. You're going to turn on your core, pinch your glutes, take an inhale, and you're going to press up through your palms. Okay, lifting off the ground. You want to push your shoulders down, firm up your core, and squeeze your glutes. You can hold here for a few seconds, and then just go back down. Okay? So you can do a few rounds of these, coming up as high as you can. Remember, squeezing the glutes and the core. Okay? So that's the upper dog. The next exercise that we have on deck, it's going to be our bridge pose. Okay, so we're going to lay down on our back for that. So you're going to lay down on your back. Low back is into the ground here. Your feet are hip-width apart. There's a space between your legs. Your palms are going to rest by your sides here. And we're just going to push through the heels to lift the hips off the ground. Okay, so you're squeezing your core. You're squeezing your glutes in the back here. Okay, your quads are nice and firm. But you're going to hold for a few seconds. And then release down. So you can do a few rounds of these, lifting and lowering. Now when I, when I wrestled in high school, we used to do bridges, but we'd go up on our neck. Oh, wow. Well, we were 17, 16 <laughs> yeah. years old. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to go on the neck for that. You want to pinch your shoulder blades back and kind of lift your chest. Yeah, stopping at shoulder blades, definitely. But I get it. I get what you're doing. Absolutely. So our next exercise and our last strength exercise is going to be the Superman exercise. So you lay down on your belly here. Your feet are separated. Your arms are separated. Okay, you're going to lay down on the ground first. And then at the same time, you're going to lift the head, neck, and shoulders off the ground. Your neck is looking down at the floor nice and long. Holding for a few seconds and then release it. Okay? Option here is to lift one leg, one arm, squeeze your core, and then lowering down. So those are our three back strengthening exercises. Do you have any questions on those? Now, how many repetitive times do you do? So depending on what you're comfortable with, um, you can do you know three rounds of such for ten or for eight. You hold for a few seconds and then you switch. Hold Depends on how you feel. You know, if you can't hold it for as long, you just like release it back down. You know, usually three rounds is good for about eight to ten. Okay. Okay? Yeah. And then next we're going to move on to our core strengthening exercises. Okay? So first uh, core strengthening exercise on your sheet is a bird dog. So I'm going to demonstrate that. We're going to come on all fours here. Okay? Your hands are stacked directly in line with your shoulders. You're going to pull your belly button in. You're going to extend one leg long and the opposite arm by your ear. You're going to lift. To balance for a few seconds, firming up your core, and then releasing down. And then switching to the other side. So same arm, same leg, lift, pushing straight back, and then down. 
So option here would just be we do one arm at a time or you don't have to extend all the way back. You can keep the arm on the ground, whatever is best for you. Okay, so that helps with the core and the stability of the low back. And then next we're going to do a plank position. So this is a basic plank. The same thing, the hands are stacked directly above shoulders. Okay, you're in front of your core, feet are hip width apart, that's comfortable. I'm just going to push up into a plank position. So firming up your core and your quads here, supporting that low back, neck is looking down at the ground. Option here is just do this on your knees. Okay, it has the same benefit. And then our last exercise is called a dead bug. So you lay down on the ground, okay? Arms by your side, you're gonna lift your legs up so your knees and your hips are stacked onto each other. Your arms are gonna come up lifted over your chest. We're gonna extend the opposite arm and the opposite leg out, okay? Firming the core nice and tight. Low back is pushed into the ground here to support, okay? You do one and then you switch to the other side. Option here would be to just bend the knee. Okay, nice and strong. So those are our three core exercises. Do so we have any questions on those? Kind of for the same amount of reps and, and um, the same amount of number of um, sets and reps. So three or uh, three sets or eight to ten each. All right, I'll try them at home. I think that they look um, easy enough for me to do. That's good. Go find out. And then the last thing we're going to go over are the stretches for the um, stretching stretching okay. part. So for the flexibility, the first thing we're going to do is a hamstring stretch. So there's a few options to this, but what I like to do is grab a towel, so you can use some resistance. Um, we're going to lay back here, okay, grabbing the towel in our hands. You're going to wrap the towel around the ball of your foot, and you're just going to extend your leg up, okay? Your opposite leg can be bent here or extended, whatever is comfortable. You just want to pull on the towel so that you feel the entire back line of your leg flexing, so you're stretching your hands straight. Okay, so you can bring it as far forward as you need. You can also keep a soft bend in your leg if you need to, okay? So that towel is to help assist in pulling your foot to the floor to get a deeper stretch. Okay, so that's the hamstring stretch. The next stretch we're going to do is a supine twist. So once again, you're going to stay on the ground, okay? You're going to bring your knees into your chest here. We're going to extend, or well, we're not going to extend, we're going to bring both knees over to one side, okay, to create a little bit of a twist. So you feel the lengthening through your side body here and your back. You want to press your other arm out. You want to lay your other arm out long and press your shoulder down. So as far down as you go. And if your legs don't meet the ground, that's totally fine. You want to hold here for a few seconds. And then you just switch sides so you complete an even rotation on both sides. Okay? And then last but not least is our forward fold. So forward fold, you can come forward, your, heat, your feet are hip width apart here. You're just gonna bow down to either your quads or your shins here. Okay, you can keep your legs softly bent, just looking down at the ground. Once again, feeling this through the backside of your body. That's one option. Another option for this is to use a chair. So you can use a chair. You want to stand to the back of the chair here. So you place your hands down on the chair and you just push back, okay? Letting everything lengthen here, feeling a deeper stretch through the back of the line. 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. Yes, never as comfortable for you. So any questions on those? No. No? no do, you ever, do you ever do any of those stretches, Jim? I'm sorry? Do you ever do any of those stretches yourself? Want me to try one like that? No, I'm just curious if you ever do them in the morning or after your workouts. Um, I would do it, I guess, in the morning before I come to work out. But you don't yet. But you're going to start? I'm going to try. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Now, I, I think I can um, do them for how long. Yeah, but the, the, the interesting thing will be, are they going to help my back? And, and I, so, tell me, how long should I... When should I expect some improvement? So usually if you consistently do it every day, you can see some improvement with that within like a few weeks and feeling 
um, of your low back, but it also depends on sort of the kind of condition you have. But if you try to work this into your daily routine or every other day, you can see you'll be able to uh, notice some results in your back. That's a good question. How frequent should you do it? I would say if you can work this into a daily regimen, that's probably ideal, if not every other day. Scheduling time either before you work out or after you work out is probably the best um, idea. Thank you, Heather. Um, yeah, so this is our this concludes our What's What for the Low Back um, series. We hope you enjoyed it. You can tune in on October 28th for our next What's What series on healthy fats.